Hello friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to tackle the lovely laundry. I had so many laundry to get done friends because you guys know when I get busy and I feel like any mom could relate to this but when we tend to get busy and just do like go out and run errands, the washer is not running like it usually supposed to and laundry just accumulates. It accumulates and then we have so much to get done. I had to go out so many times this week because of dealing with the rental, the new home, and just getting everything straightened up. It just takes time away from my day at home and getting all my routine done. Trying my best at getting the washes going, but then the folding is just getting out of hand. So I had folded or tried to fold some laundry the night before and i was tired and i just left it stacked like that on top of the diaper box as you guys saw i started putting it back in the bed and putting it away in hangers i'm going to continue washing today i have to wash caleb's bouncy chair cover because friends jimena loves to sit in it i believe it's just like the I want to use it too kind of thing because she loves sitting on it but then she has sticky fingers and she gets it super dirty so I had to wash that. I was trying to get it washed as fast as I could friends just because Caleb is used to taking his day naps there but right now I'm just going to continue organizing Jimena's clothes because when it's time to put it away it gets a little bit overwhelming when the drawers are messy. <laughs> As you guys see it was time to switch the loads and I always forget if I had already put a load in the dryer or not so I checked and there was clothes so I switched that take that out I'm going to put another load in the washer and I'm obviously calling Kimberly because she is home today to come and get the lint because she loves to remove it and I'm going to continue just folding the clothes i was going to wait just because jimena had said she wanted to take a nap and i took her i closed all the blinds in the room and she didn't she just got up and went to the living room so i'm just going to go in the room and start folding towels if she wants to take a nap i will just close the blinds all over again and leave the room as you guys see her teddy and her milk which we call bb is on my bed waiting for her because she's debating whether to take it or not these are honestly friends the hardest days for me because i'm basically fighting with my toddler with her to like get her nap because she's grumpy all over the house but i have to do my chores and get them done so i honestly just kind of wing it and see what happens like right now i said you know what just fold your towels if she's tired she's gonna come to the room if not then she's not she's going to keep fighting her nap and it's the days that i tend to be the busiest when she does that so i'm just getting used to like just go with it and not stress or get myself overwhelmed my toddler not getting her nap the only bad thing about her not getting her nap is that she is grumpy all day and just irritated and doesn't want to be happy and at night she doesn't want to go to bed and then when she does go to bed she wakes up 
super early in the morning, like 4 a.m. in the morning. And that just like throws off her whole schedule. So that's why I try my best to get her to get her nap at least at 12, like around noon so that she gets her regular sleep at night. But I'm going to continue just tidying up around my room because she still decided not to come in the room and just see how much I get done, friends. <laughs> put the wipes the extra wipes in here with the extra diapers because we're moving so we might need to just take them in the same box so i'm gonna leave those there i want to show you guys this clothes that i got for the kids kayla bori wear a wore a few outfits that i bought him but these are the ones that i still have in the bag i've been like debating whether to get them out of the bag or just keep them and pack them so i got him in of this really cute shorts and like a top with a summery hat isn't that so cute friends i love the colors and for summer i just just gonna be so cute it's already super hot here yesterday was 85 so yeah and she doesn't have much summer clothes no more so i definitely need to get her clothes and then this is for kayla it's some pjs okay close the door yeah, come on. Man, I want to take a nap, so I'm gonna be really quick. And then this blue chomp chomp, it says it has sharks with fries and hot dogs. And these are short pajamas, like that is super cute. I got him in a this one, and it was a 24 month, but I feel like it's gonna fit her because it looks really big and it looks super cute. It does have a bow, which I don't think she's gonna wear, but it has shorts and the top, and a really pretty green, I think. And then this dinosaur like short combination with the top for Caleb. He did already wore one set. It was like a romper with a shirt and it was dino too. It's super cute. And it was like the same color theme. And then these PJs for men on their shorts as well because like I said, summer's coming. It does have a scrunchie and like the flower pattern. It's so cute. And it does say life is good super cute and then this dino pjs for mena and then look at the green pants it did come with another set and it was like the same color pattern but it was all dinos and she already wore that last night when my husband came back and gave them a bath and she looks so cute i think you guys saw that and then this i think this is the last one isn't it so cute friends look at this color scheme right here and then the flowers and then it has some pink like, if they look blush color, biker shorts. They are so adorable. I think I'm just gonna hang them on the closet because I'm planning of just putting all the clothes that's on hangers in bags and just like taking them in my truck and then just put them back in like the closet. Oh, I did buy Caleb this one. This one's from Walmart. It was $5, I had to get it. It's like a little, um, what are the, what's the name of these friends? Because I call them like Wamsies, but I think it's not. And it's so cute. It has fishes, sailboats, palm trees, pineapple suns, and it's white and it's super lightweight. I just thought it was cute. I'm gonna put this in his drawer. I also got two candles, which I shouldn't have had because we're moving and I'm gonna have to carry them to the other house. I saw I got this one in Classic Man and it smells like straight up cologne and it was just ten dollars i felt like it was a good price for the nice night. that's for his restroom he said so and then i have them here still because like i said we're moving so i'm gonna have to still wrap them up and put them in a box and then i got this one the magnolia blossom it says it's citrus green floracy of magnolia magnolia blossom salted with gray sea salt 
gardenia and luminous jasmine it smells super fresh and at the end you get like a hint of sea salt like it's crazy but like my mouth is watering that's crazy like it smells like like a fruit salad almost but with like salt i don't know it's weird to explain but i'm gonna put this one in my restaurant almost. but i'm gonna leave it here because i'm gonna pass them. and then that i'm gonna put in the pot quieres tu rio yes i love you mommy This is like my second to last low friends. I've mentioned before that I don't wash past five. And sometimes I try to do it before that. Like around four, I do my last wash. And then around five, it's my last try. And that is just because I've had so many like notices, you could say, from the electric company saying that we spend so much electricity and this and that. And I'm like, it, it's just crazy to me how they expect you to waste less electricity and especially with kids the most electricity i spend is with the washers i've said before i don't use my dishwasher i only use it to like put my dishes in it so that they kind of like you could say dry off or air dry but i don't turn it on i do use like i do wash it once a month or if it needs to like in the summer every two weeks but I don't use that much electricity and for them to say that I waste a lot of electricity it just like blows my mind to think how much do other people spend and waste but I'm going to start cleaning this laundry room friends it really needed a deep cleaning it was just really dirty I had accumulated so many gallons of detergent and just softener and I don't throw them away because I have to like put water and rinse them out. That's what you guys saw me do with my husband's load of clothes. I was rinsing out the detergent bottle with water. I just put a little bit of water in there and like shake it around and then just put that water in the wash. That way it gets used and the empty bottle in the recycling bin. But right now I'm just going to give this laundry room rinse a really good wipe down i did want to clean the baseboards but i'm not gonna do that because i'm not moving the washer and dryer today and anyways it's gonna be moved the day that we move out so at least i got rid of all the empty bottles and things that were just in here randomly this shelf friends already needed a good deep cleaning and it got it today so that's a plus and I felt like the laundry room anyways needed a deep cleaning, but like I said, I'm going to wait until I move to do the bottom part. finally done cleaning that laundry room friends now this is the last load of laundry that i am folding today it was a lot of laundry that i did today for my opinion but honestly at the end it feels so rewarding to know that you got every basket done folded and washed it just feels really good friends but i want to know what is the clothes that you guys least like to fold because i was talking to my husband about it and i was like i am okay with washing because you just literally sort the clothes put it in the washer and the washer does the job for you friends but folding folding is so time consuming and it gets a little bit overwhelming when it, it becomes a mountain but let me know which one is for you friends the one that's the least favorite to fold 
or is it washing? But I hope that you guys got all the motivation that you guys needed from this video to get your chores done. Or if you guys had laundry, here's the laundry motivation that you guys needed to tackle those baskets and just get them done, get them washed and folded. I hope that you guys have a wonderful day and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye friends. Bye.